day. Every day something's added to the system. But now every morning when I get up, I come out to my truck before I leave, I turn on my computer, and I can actually start downloading the new maps that people had entered into the system the day before. And I always have the latest and greatest maps already loaded in my computer when I start my day. We made the decision to use the Cisco routers for the A29s. We had the ability to move all over. So with our locators, they were actually having a lot of orders out in corn cities. And so they would have to actually get the orders, uh, go out there, do their work, and then come back in and then fill out those orders and complete them. As of this point, when we've actually upgraded their system, so they actually can go to Carn City, update the system, and then it's real-time service. It's a lot faster. There's more information with the last visit info. I can tell who was there and who you know was there before me, what they did with their remarks. It gives me a lot more contact information with customers, multiple phone numbers. So right now, we've implemented one-third of our stock, and we changed out the GD6000s to the GTAC, ruggedized laptops. We've actually updated their routers, and actually it's gonna be communicating to the system. They they're actually have a desktop exactly like we have in our office, but they're taking it on the road. I can actually go online, go to Google Maps, pull up Google Earth, and I can actually zoom in and look at where I'm supposed to be at. I can also use Google, do a Google Maps search, and I can get a street view of the house. I can also check the weather, look at the radars, and also, also I can check the OMS outage map and uh, see how many outages are going on, see how many crews are signed on at different times, and go from there. We've actually asked Fleet to help out. We were all volunteer. We figured it would be a, a learning experience. Uh, the new MDT project was uh, brought to us around to mid, late March. We had one installer, uh, so I, they thought it was a good idea to bring us into this project. You know, he had till the end of September to finish 60, <laughs> 60 installs, which we're done finished with the 60s, waiting on phase two. We're probably talking about maybe 400 vehicles to get switched out. Starting about maybe mid-July, and we're gonna ramp up again with seven installers to hopefully knock this out within maybe the two to two months. It's somewhere around 400 trucks, so hopefully we get, get it rolling pretty quick. It's been, it's really been helpful to have a newer, a newer system that's a lot faster. Love it, it's working perfectly.